Our next guest manages a fund that has returned 44% over the past year. TSX is up 3.35%. Constantine Lykos is the president and portfolio manager of Lykos Asset Management, and he is sitting entirely on cash as he waits for the dust to settle from the fiscal cliff. He is in Vancouver. Good to have you with us. Good afternoon. Now, when we say you're sitting on cash, you're not actually sitting on cash right now. You're sitting on a stool. But why are you on cash for the whole... <laughs> of your portfolio. There's an old Chinese proverb uh, that says um, something like, uh, if the water is clear, muddy, uh, you better let it kind of settle out, stand, and it will become clear. So with that in mind, we have the fiscal cliff. Yeah. The, the fiscal cliff, is, is that the key reason why you, you went completely to cash at, at this point? Uh, yes, uh, and primarily, uh, because the, the valuations on the, in the stock market and the bond market and a whole bunch of other markets are kind of uh, fair at the moment, so there's uh, not great odds for making a, 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 taking a position, um, so the odds are not going to be particularly in your favor. They're going to be average at best. So uh, there are bet better entry points ahead of us and likely in the very near future, like perhaps a, a week or two away. But if we get the fiscal cliff resolution, then we get to enjoy the new year, ring it in, and get all liquored up. And then what do you know? We got the, the February um, issue as well of the debt ceiling. Should we not just be sitting on our hands basically until after Valentine's Day? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it depends what happens um, with the fiscal, fiscal cliff first. Um, for example, there's... Uh, possible three outcomes here with the discussions on the fiscal cliff. The most likely one being uh, that there's going to be some kind of a deal that the market uh, has anticipated already and priced in. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's likely to be a non-event, just like uh, the Y2K was some 12 years ago. Uh, and then um, next most likely scenario is that there's going to be a deal that the market really likes and then the market will take off. And then the third most likely outcome is that uh, there won't be a deal at all and the market won't like that. Uh, but um, most likely we'll have something happening, uh, even if it is a, a deal that the market has already anticipated and priced, because uh, that will bring the volatility levels uh, down, like on the VIX, for example, and then that may present uh, uh, a better uh, buying opportunity for uh, something like the, the VIX index, for example. So topic number one, the Vanguard Extended Duration ETF, the EDV in New York. Why? Why? Um, well... First of all, you have to assume that uh, you own some uh, risk assets such as stocks, and then uh, you have to, to look for a, a, if you don't have to, but it's a good idea to look for insurance or portfolio insurance on your on your stocks or your risky assets. Uh, today, I think the cheapest form of portfolio insurance may very well be U.S. Treasuries, mm -hmm. uh, long dated, a zero coupon. That's a, a, a an ETF that focuses on that. Because I believe um, the fair value for U.S. interest rates, uh, given uh, the, the fact that they, the best use for U.S. Treasuries is not for an investment but for portfolio insurance, insurance rather, mm -hmm. may be zero, if not negative, possibly. So right now, the, the yield on a 30-year is about 3%. And uh, what I'm saying is that the fair value is likely zero. Top pick number and two is top. If that was the case. Sorry, Constantine. Go ahead. Uh, topic number two is tied, I suppose, to uh, the oil field services space. You're, you're talking a helicopter company, HNZ. Uh, that's a, a nice little Canadian company. It's at under 300 million in market cap, I believe. Um, it has uh, been profitable for a fair number of, uh, of years now, consistently so, and nicely profitable. Uh, I, I expect a long-term return on equity uh, inside the company uh, to be in the region of 15%. Uh, it has a book value of about $18 per share, and it's trading around 21 And with a 15% long-term return on equity uh, projection, uh, the, the fair value on, on the stock is likely close to 1.8 to 2 times book, uh, which would bring it to somewhere in the, the $36 range as a price target, which would be a very nice return. Uh, it's not going to happen in the next little bit because, uh, unfortunately, the company lost the contract. And uh, in the next maybe three to six months, it will have tough year-over-year -year comparisons. You may have to, to be patient with it for uh, at least six months before 
you start seeing some upside, but it's, it's got to look good long-term prospects. It's a good business. It's a good price. And topic number three is, is tied to the volatility that you're expecting over the course of the next little while. How long-term is the VXX the ETF uh, a hold for you? <laughs> Uh, the VXX ETF uh, uh, d d d depends on, it's, it's not a long-term hold. Uh, the VXX, the VIX index, it, it, it's, it's the measure of risk on the, on the market as a whole. Mm -hmm. It goes up, it goes down, it averages something like 18%. Uh, 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 for viewers, I know what that means. Uh, uh, it's a good idea to, to buy into it when it's lower than that, and it, perhaps a good idea to sell. Uh, when it's higher than that. Uh, right now the VIX is uh, at 15 and a half, so it's, uh, that's a good enter point. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, it may become an even better point after there's been a deal uh, uh, on the fiscal cliff issue. It might drop in another 10, 50 percent, and that would be the, the better enter point into that uh, in a week or two, perhaps. So that, that, that my, my, my guess is that this is uh, what's going to happen, as if anybody knows what's going to happen in the future. But yeah, yeah. if, if uh, there was a deal announced, a VIX dropped, then you buy it, then you have your risky assets like stocks, and you have bought yourself some, some cheap insurance, and because you don't know uh, when something totally unexpected is going to happen, like a tsunami in Japan, like a, uh, what is a terrorist attack, whatever, whatever it is, uh, there's always uh, unknown, unknowns as uh, Mr. Rumsfeld used to say, mm -hmm. and it's good to have insurance before that happens and while it's cheap. Constantine, good to have you with us. Thank you for your insight, sir. Well, thank you. Constantine Lycos, president of Lycos Asset Management. He joined us from Vancouver.